In this video, we are going to go over addition with regrouping using base 10 blocks. And let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at these base 10 blocks over here and establishing what each of them are representative of. So if I click on one of the yellow blocks, those are going to represent my ones place. So those are, that is one one right there. And then these green longer pieces, those represent the tens. Now they're just in different orientations here. Some of them are vertical, some of them are horizontal, depending on how we're going to use them on the board here. But for right now, this is one ten. And then these larger red pieces are the hundreds place. So this is one hundred. Let's take a look at how these work with regard to regrouping. So like I said, we have one one right here, this one yellow piece. But if I add nine more of those and put them together, let's see what happens. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me just organize these a little bit better here and see if we can compare and see any Thing that looks similar on this board. So I just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones on the board. And what does it look similar to? What does it look like it equals? It equals one of these tens. So that's where we get regrouping from. Once we go beyond nine ones, and we go into 10 ones, we have to regroup them into the tens place when we're writing numbers, when we're writing larger numbers. So I'm going to select all of these ones here, and then I'm going to click a button that is going to turn them into a 10. So let's erase all of this and see if we can figure out, we've regrouped all of our ones, let's see if we can figure out what it will regroup to when we combine a few more tens into this. So let's go ahead and add another 10. So this would be three tens so far, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm just going to rearrange these so that they're all stacked next to each other instead of on top of each other. So now what do all of these tens look like? Let's just go, let's count them like we did with the ones. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens. And when we combine them all together, they equal 100. So ten tens creates a hundred. So we're going to actually look at this and show what this looks like when we add. Okay, so let's start with the number 200. 73. So again, this is our hundreds place, this is our tens place, and this is our ones place. So we need some of our base 10 blocks to represent each of those place values. So I'm going to start with the ones place and wow, I put it way up there. Okay, one, two, three. So we've got three ones and then we need seven tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, let me rearrange these so that they're side by side and easier to see and count. So we've got seven. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I cover up? I'm sorry, I covered up one of my ones. There we go. Three, three ones, seven tens, and then we need two hundreds. So for these hundreds, since they are so big, I am going to let them overlap just a little bit. Let me adjust here. Okay, so we have our two hundreds, our seven tens, and our three ones. Two, seven, three. So now what if we wanted to add to that? Let's say that we want to add the number 138. OK, 
Okay, so then that means we need 100, 3 tens, and 8 ones. So let's go ahead and add those to what we have here on our board so far. I'll scoot these up a little bit so that I have some more room. So let's put them underneath here. So that means I'm going to start with the ones. We need eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to rearrange them here. Let's make them a little bit neater. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. Okay, and then we need three tens. So I'm going to add in one, two, three. Put those to the left here so that we have enough. We have them in the order that we normally see the numbers, ones, tens, and then hundreds. And then we need one more hundred. So we're going to put that right here. So one more hundred. So when we're adding these numbers, like this, one, three, eight. When we're adding these numbers, this is why we always want to start with the smallest place value. Because when we put these ones together, we want to see if we have anything that will regroup into the next place value over. So if we count three plus eight, that would give us 11, right? So when I regroup these, it gives us 110 and 11. That is 11, right? So I'm going to erase these numbers. So now I have 11, but 11 can't live in the ones place. So we need to take this 10 and regroup it over to the tens place. So now instead of having 11 here, I have one one left here, and I added an extra one to this place value. So now we have all of these tens. Let's group, let's group those together and see what we get. So if we circle all of our tens, highlight all of our tens, and I hit the group symbol, what happens? We get 110. And let's see if that makes sense. 7 plus 3 is 10, so that would give us that extra 100 that we have, right? 10 tens equals 100. And then that extra 110 is represented right here. So now we have to move this 100 over to the hundreds place, and we have 110 left here in the tens place. So now we've added this one here. So now how many hundreds do we have? Do we have enough to regroup into the next place value, which would be thousands? We've got 1 plus 2 plus 1 equals 4. So that wouldn't be enough to make a 1,000. So I'm just going to move these, group these together, and rewrite the number all combined down here as a 4. So we wind up with the number 411. So let's take a look at what that looks like when we are just adding numerically. I'm just going to scroll down here and write out our numbers that we just added. So remember, we started with 273, and we added on 138. So let's see what happens. We always start at that lowest place value. So we started with the 3 plus 8, just like we started with the 1's cubes. So 3 plus 8 is 11. So instead of just writing 11 down here, we need to regroup because that 1, it should go in the tens place. Oops, I erased my line there. So that's where this 1 regrouping comes from. Because remember, we used those cubes to show that we had enough to regroup into the tens place. So now let's add up the next place value, which is the tens. 7 plus 3 is 10, plus one more, again, is 11. So we regroup that extra 1, and then write the 1 down here. So remember, we had enough of these green tens to create one of the hundreds. And then when we add up our hundreds place, we have 1 plus 2 is 3, 
plus one more is four. So we do wind up with the same answer of 411. I hope this video was helpful for you in explaining why we regroup to the next place value over whenever we're adding and we have more than nine in as our sum in each column. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. That really helps me to be able to make more of these videos for you. Thanks. See you next time.